there is one more c sharp operator that has been added in recent versions that operator is called as null coalescing operator um, let's understand how it will work so to work with this concept we have to use double question mark that's the operator and this double question mark works like this so for example if i'm having this let's say string abc or whatever name it is so first i'm having only the first part which is going to be let's assume this aaa and if i'm having this question mark and i'm having this bbb what we are doing basically we are having this string abc and we are trying to assign some values to this abc okay if this value is not null then this value will be assigned to this abc because of any chance if this aaa is null then only this value will be assigned to this abc so for example here i'm having this string and let's say it is name to find out the name let's assume i'm having one method which is get name and let's create this method over here so that's the method and from this method let's say that i'm returning this null value okay and if i'm using this name over here right if this name is not null which is false in this case but let's assume if this name is not null then this value will be assigned to this abc on the other hand if this name is null then whatever we will write after this double question mark which is null coalescing operator that will be assigned to this abc so here i'm writing this na okay and let's just display this abc value over here how to do that this abc let's run this application so over here you can see we are getting this na output okay now let's assume that i'm displaying some value over here let's say i'm returning my name what will happen this time this time you will notice that we will get this actual value in this abc how it is working in this case this name is not null because it is having this value and if it is not null then this part will be assigned to this abc and remember in this case the second part will not be executed it means if you are having a kind of method or anything else over here then that part will not be executed this program will simply ignore the second part there is one more operator in this null coalescing which is called as null coalescing assignment operator how this will work so here let's assume that i'm having this name and to work with this null coalescing assignment operator here let's assume this name and here again we have to use those question marks and this time we have to use one equal symbol right and here we can write some values like this so how it is working it is working like if this name is null then only in that case this na will be assigned to this name on the other hand if this name is not null then this value will not be assigned to this name let's run this application and see what is the output you can see we are getting this nitis over here but now let's return some null value like this and run it this time you will notice we will get na like this and this is how we can work with this null coalescing assignment operator this operator will be very much useful while you will work on the collections so in the collections basically you have to create the instance of that particular collection or in case if that collection is not instantiated then you can use this operator to create a new one that is all in this video thank you for watching